Hello and welcome back to our JRPG series. In the last episode we've been working on our victory screen, giving us XP and items to the player at the end of the battle. In this episode we're going to go through and show how to do a stun status for our enemies and our characters. So when their health gets to a low point, they're visibly stunned and weaker and with a different animation style. So let's jump straight in. So we're going to go to our UI and look at our unit slot for the victory screen and on here we're going to make the extra asset that's going to go on top of this and we're going to slide it in and out so on here in this uh, vertical box I'm going to right click on this and wrap with an overlay and in the overlay we're going to have another asset we're going to have another widget in here and that's going to be a border widget drag this in like that and this border widget we want to uh, size it appropriately uh, so we'll make it fill the whole thing like this and fill across like so and on here we're going to change its brush to be our dark color that we have been using so maybe even darker let's make it 0 0.8 okay so that will come through like this and in there we're going to have our text and the text will drag in and we're going to set our font to our font and we're going to make it quite big we'll make it 36 and we're going to make it vertically aligned in the center like so and i'm going to give it nice padding around it of say 10 maybe 20 there we go and so this thing is going to be also bold so i'm going to change the typeface here to bold there you go so the text here yeah, it's going to be static. It's going to, it's going to say level uh, level up, like so. And all that's left now to do is the animation of this thing. So on the border here, I'm going to name this one here level up notify and hit compile. And then the animations here, I'm going to add new animation and we call it leveled up. Uh, right, rename that one level up and in and with it selected we're going to add the track for the level up notify and the first initial position for this is going to be off the screen uh, off the side of this so we're going to go down to the translation and i'm going to set the translation so it's already off the screen so let's just drag that over here like there so do minus 600 and also going to fade it out so render opacity here i'm going to change the default to zero so now on the level up notify in the animation track we're going to add the transform and in transform we're going to add a key by clicking a little plus circle and on the translation here we're going to move this along to let's say 0 0.5 and on the translation in the x we're going to change that to zero now i'll set the key back to there okay now we're going to add the render opacity and drag that at the start, hit the plus icon, and at the end, we're going to set that to one. Okay, so in he comes like this. Level up. And what we're going to do is going to keep it staying there for a little while. So we keep it there for let's say up to another second, maybe two and a half seconds here. And add a new key for each one of those. So it keeps them the same and then I'm going to go and move them off. So transform here, we're going to do plus 600. So it goes off the right hand side of the screen this time and the render opacity we're going to set to zero. So now the full animation of this looks like this. Okay. Oh, and save that. So now we're going to go to the graph and on here on the leveled up, we're going to take out our print string and we're going to take in our animation level animation and in here we're going to tell it to play animation forward and that's it so that'll play that we then wanted to make sure it is updating all this stuff here and it should be doing it anyway but we'll test it in a second but that's all we need to do here is play the animation so let's go and test this out so to test this out i'm going to need to change the XP requirement for one of our characters to see their level up 
Uh, so I'm going to go to Greystone here, go to his combat component, and I'll change the XP required here to 100. And hit compile and save that. Now we'll hit play and test this out, and you should level up at the end. Okay, and there's the level up we saw there. And he leveled up twice, okay? But however, his number didn't change, and also the progress bars are broken, obviously, we can see here. So let's take a look at what's gone wrong there. I'm going to go back to my UI and check out my victory screen. And where I've added that um, UI for the uh, overlay, it's broken the overall adjustment of the whole entire uh, section there so let's go to the victory screen unit slot and on the designer view of this the issue is in this here so this would be the vertical box and you can see here it's left aligned so we hit that to stretch again and take that to stretch again there and that should fix it now over on this victory screen here brilliant okay so now you've got uh, four bars again Next, we need to make it so you can update the numbers on the screen for his uh, level. So on the unit slot here, uh, after we level up, we're going to tell this to just update the card again. So we're going to take this here and do update card. And that should update his name, which we won't change. But it will update the leveling parts and be accurate. So we're going to hit compile and save that. Um, okay, so when you call level up, that's going to happen there. Excellent. And that level up is getting called by the combat component in the level up, level up function. Oh, wrong one. Uh, there. So level up, we call leveled up. Okay. And we can see on a victory unit slot here that we're looking at the current unit level, working it out here. Okay. So let's test this out. Play. And we're going to attack. And you see it's leveled up there numerous times. It's now level seven. Okay. So notice how it leveled up a lot there. Now the reason why it did that, and that's an error, um, is because we, uh, on our reward XP here, there's a slight subtle thing, and it's something that most people will miss, and I missed it as well when I first built this. So when we take the um, greater than or equal to check here, we're checking what it would be if XP current was adding the XP here. However, before this branch happens, we set the XP current to this. Meaning XP count now is actually higher here than it was when it first went around. So it's now looking, let's say this was 90, add 10, comes 100. Then this will happen to do a check. And this check will now do 100 plus 10, 110, and go into there. So you get some issues. So all we have to do here is just change that from checking there to checking here instead. So it looks at the current XP current value. Now I'll fix that issue. So the other thing we're going to fix is something that we noticed in the last episode, which was when enemies were sliding on the floor when they were stunned, not doing the actual walk animation. Now the reason why that's happening is because the montage is told to loop, and therefore won't stop until it's interrupted by another montage. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to our unit base here. And we want to know when we're starting the turn, whether or not they're in stun mode or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, combat component, and we're going to go to start turn and on start unit turn we're going to tell them basically to stand up and not be stunned if they are currently stunned so on here on ai controller get valid we're going to go along here and we'll just do this here so move this along it's along like so excellent okay so next i'm going to drag the unit character out and from there, I'm going to get uh, the me uh, mesh and 
that from there. And from there, we want to get the anim instance, which is the animation blueprint. So anim instance. And then from that, we can check whether or not they're playing an animation. So is montage playing? And we'll put that in here. And the montage we're going to check here is actually going to come from a unique character. When you get this done mon animation montage and plug that in there. So if they're currently playing their stun animation montage, we can tell them to stop. So we're gonna put a branch in here, put that in there, and put that in the condition. And if that is the case from the anime instance here, we're gonna make it say stop montage stop. And we want it to stop the stun animation montage. So let's drag that in there like so. So we can organize this a little bit better. Uh, a little bit tricky, but there we go. Here's what it is. Okay. So that is now going to tell it to stop that montage. And we give it a little blend out time here. We'll go 0.25, and that will look quite nice. So he'll stop doing the montage uh, and stand up. And then we want it to resume the branch there. If it's false and it's not playing that, then we don't have to worry about any of that. We just go down to false and do that. Um, okay, so that will do that. We then want it to return to being stunned when he returns back to his starting location. So we're going to go to the event graph here, and we're looking at when they end the turn sorry, um, on the unit base. So on unit base, we've got doing the stun animation checks here, like so. And basically, what I'm going to do is make it just check all of this okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take all this out in fact actually what we'll just do is do um a function on here and we'll do check or stun and check for stun it can basically do what we've done here so we just look at the xp and uh where is it here's so you look at the xp the hp sorry and see whether or not it's in a certain range. And if it is, we're going to stun them. So I'm going to take this uh, all and all this and copy that. Plugging this into here. So if that is true, they'll start the stun animation again. Uh, there is another option for them to do stuns, and that is when. Um, da -da -da. And that's if they've been stunned already. That's fine. We can leave that as well. So that's if, that's if they've been hit and they're stunned already. They're going to return to stun. That's fine. This is the main thing we want to do. So check for stun. This will be fine. So now we need to call that function. So I'm going to go back to the combat component. And go to end unit turn. And at the end of this, we're going to take the unit character. And we're going to call the check or stun. That's it. So to test this out, it'd be a bit tricky, but we'll try. Uh, so we'll set the enemy's health slightly higher. So I've got it set to currently uh, on HP. Uh, we'll go to combat component and set their unit stat modifier here. HP will make it a little bit higher. We'll go to 0 0.3, for example, and See what that looks like. So I'm looking to knock one down for a bit. She's a really higher level, so she might kill him. But these two may have a better chance of just stunning them down. Not enough on him. We'll see if Gideon can knock him down a bit. Or kill him <laughs> outright. I think Face is just going to kill him. Okay, so we'll go back in and increase his health a little bit more. 0.4. Or do 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.15. No, 25, sorry. And check that out on there. Okay. Attack this. And then we're going to hopefully stun this one. 
There you go. So when he sees his turn to attack, he should walk like normal. Uh, so let's just get Gideon to kill the other one. Okay, so they're both stunned. So there's a good chance to see this. So he walks like normal. And he should attack and then return back to his spot and return to being stunned. Like so. There you go. Excellent. Lovely jubbly. And fake and finish him off. And we can level up Greystone here. Excellent. And that brings us to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we're going to start work on the item window. Allows us to use items in the battle, such as potions, as well as damaging ones such as grenades or any other thing you want to do like that. So you can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lally. We can catch all my videos early before anyone else. I'll say a massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.